So just for fun, I've decided to produce a director's cut of a recent video. Enjoy. I uh, hope you enjoy this director's commentary as I take you through this course. We're at the starting line here, and I'm going to take the lead over this first coupe. It's a nice six-board coupe, and they get you going early here, which is a lot of fun. Here comes Mary. We're going to head up and start trotting and just uh, get our horses warmed up. Look at these beautiful stone walls here in Virginia. Just classic. Beautiful. And then uh, right away you come up to the second jump, which is a uh, substantial uh, telephone pole vertical. So kick on, as they say, and get over that one. Here comes Mary. Very nice. And... Uh, we're going to head up this long hill. She's uh, enjoying herself, moving along very smooth and relaxed. And we tried to maintain a classic hunter pace. So now we're uh, heading up the hill and you can see uh, what this countryside looks like. Very pretty. I'm pointing towards the next obstacle. It's that tree down there. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but actually it was. It's a little funky. Uh, there's the landing. There was a, a bit of a root or rock or something on the right side of that landing, so you had to kind of go left. Now we're heading up to another seven board coupe, black one, which sometimes can be a bit intimidating. What I'm doing here is uh, doing a little schooling with my horse. Boom, right over that thing again. And now uh, Mary, who had been waiting, is going to loop around and follow me back over. My horse has got the feel for this coupe. Here we go. Nicely done. And here comes another seven board. Boom. I think I had a little hang time on that one. <laughs> and now we're uh, heading uh, through the woods a bit. It's another nice field of, uh, for cattle that we're passing through. And Mary's taking the lead here. Most of the day I was in the lead. Um, on uh, my horse, but uh, sometimes Mary jumped in front. Her horse is just about made. Uh, today's ride really uh, moved this horse up a notch. It's a beautiful little tunnel. And we're heading up to a uh, oh. tiger trap. Okay. It's a telephone pole tiger trap. Mary's already passed, and now I'm going to... Boom! <laughs> there we go. Very nice. And we'll um, just trot along. There's a a group that we let pass. They're on the uh, flat course. Now the, the jumping course turns a bit to the right through this kind of uh, magical forest here. Very nice. And uh, Mary and I decided to take a look at this jump and do some schooling. It's not a big jump. I think it's a six board coupe. And we're gonna do some practice over it so that we get our horses tuned up a bit more there's a lot to come on this course. Here we go again. Yeah, nicely done by my horse. Here comes Mary. So we've uh, worked that pretty well. And now we'll get back on track. And um, here she comes following up. Beautiful jump. Very nice. Now we're going to head down a, a little path here towards the next coop. And then this leads us up to the top of a big hill. There are great uh, jumping opportunities throughout this course. Yeah. It's a nice six board coupe there. And here comes Mary, nicely done. And we'll just uh, head on up the hill. This course has a real natural feel to it, as you can see. So we're heading up the hill. And uh, I think we stop at the top here. The views are incredible. Uh, this uh, Virginia countryside looking over the Blue Ridge Mountains is absolutely fantastic and you can see uh, the vistas here it just goes very, on very and on pretty. we're gonna do it now this coupe here is a seven board but uh, I don't know if it's got the standard 40 degree angle or not but it was pretty intimidating boom and we're over it um, but I think I really uh, had to get some leg on that one. And now we're heading into another six board towards a low water crossing. 
and uh, Mary's following me nicely done so we'll cross this um, little stream here and um, sometimes these little water crossings can be difficult for folks uh, unless you've really tuned your horse up for that kind of thing we have uh, streams on our property so we're uh, always working the horses that way and they don't have any problems this little uh, area here is uh, really nice uh, you're running alongside a uh, no climb fence and then heading up to a uh, little up. training area beautiful setting here Mary's just gonna tune up her horse so after uh, we tuned up there we got to the top of the hill there's a little baby coop I think it's probably five boards or something and uh, that's fine everything shouldn't be <laughs> difficult right you should get a break once in a while that's the only small one on the whole course and this was really pretty here I remember this a lot um, just really beautiful um, vistas here so we're heading into an interesting area this uh, double coop 90 degree angle double coop situation what happens is uh, you can go over one coop land and then pop over the next one to the right there we chose to do this in two phases though and this coop here uh, that's another seven board coop you can see that and uh, Mary's going to trot up nicely to this fence and there she goes I'm heading up this hill it just looks like something out of a, a movie, huh? Look how beautiful that sky is. And the cows were just sitting down, minding their own business. So we cruised by. Um, what we're doing here is uh, planning for the, the next jump. I'm going to be quiet because it gets kind of funny. All right. Are, are you going to get in the way there? Or are you just going to I'm here to help. Here to help, huh? And that's part of the fun of... Uh, <laughs> being married uh, and riding together and then after we did that Mary uh, saw a couple of logs there which was nice for uh, nice. schooling on here we're heading to uh, the next uh, coop this whole section was um, just nice beautiful coops seven board coops and uh, each one was placed in a good location so the footing was great Oh, these seven board coops. Looking at this coop here, you can get a feel for um, the course. They're they're pretty challenging. You got to know what you're doing. Um, so I was glad to be out there, and uh, I think I I really uh, had a good time tuning up my horse and me too, getting schooled. This, this jump here um, has a little stump buried in the ground uh, a, bit, a couple of strides after the landing, so you can see me telling Mary, uh, head to the right, watch out. Nice, <laughs> very good. She's got a good eye though, so that wasn't a problem. So we're, we're kind of, I don't know, three quarters of the way done at this point. Yes. Some more of these um, seven board coops heading towards the finish line. And, um, <laughs> Yeah, Mary's horse is really, really uh, getting into the, its stride now, as you can see. Uh, it's doing really well over all these coops, and it's uh, just jumping out in the lead here. <laughs> this is another beautiful um, hill on the return. We wanted to look at the countryside, so we took a pause here. Clearly, you can see that we're not in it to win it. We're here to enjoy it and take in the uh, beautiful scenery of Virginia which we very much did. That hunter of hers is awesome. Look how it stands there and just relaxes. And it's still standing there after I made the jump. And then she'll just kind of head on up. And we'll head down, um, only a few jumps left. This is a beautiful jumping arena on the right there. And so we're approaching I think this is the penultimate coop right here. 
This is an old coop. Sometimes these can be spooky. Um, but uh, horses kind of ran right through it. No problem. The approach is a uh, six board and then the landing is a five board. So you're jumping up. Uh, a lot of fun on that one. So that was the penultimate coop. We got one more to go. We're just uh, streaming tour straight ahead towards the finish. So I'm going to take this one first here again and um, you'll see that uh, it's a nice landing. But when I landed, I noticed a um, horseshoe from somebody ahead of us. You can see it at the bottom of the screen there. So I decided to get off and uh, pick that up and then hang it on the fence. But when I did, ouch, I got electrocuted. You can see the uh, electric wire there. So I took the shoe off and put it on the second rail on that um, fence and then uh, jumped back on. So I wouldn't spook Mary standing at the base of the jump. I think I'm going to just move out of her way here for a bit. And then um, here she comes. So it looks like she switched into a trot. And then her horse started cantering and then trotted. And <laughs> she said that was a bad jump. But uh, I don't know. I don't know if I ever see Mary take a bad jump. So I'm just congratulating my horse there with some pats, well-deserved pats on the neck because uh, she did a great job. And uh, this is a really nice little road here uh, with the classic uh, Virginia stone walls. And uh, it's just so pretty. And um, we're heading down the uh, drive there, um, snapping through some pine needles and pine boughs here as we head uh, casually towards the finish um, it's been a great day, uh, absolutely spectacular views, really well thought out course. Uh, you can see uh, we're approaching the start finish line here and just kind of cruising in, taking our time. To the right. Seeing the people. <laughs> Maybe we got uh, some cheers there from uh, Master LeHue. Hey, thank you. I'm just going to take it on home. So thank you. Yeah. I had the best time. These are great folks. Blue Ridge has got it going on. That's all I got to say. And this horse, trial by fire, learn how to jump all those coops in the Virginia Hunt Country. Yeah, finally made. <laughs> That's right, he's made now. <laughs>